Hello, beautiful people. Psychic Debbie here. I'm hoping you're having a great day so far. I am. I just got done doing a bunch of retreats, and they turned out fantastic. That's why you probably haven't seen my smiley little face for a while. So today, I'm going to talk about attracting a beautiful mate. Uh, it doesn't have to be, uh, you know, male and female. It can be male, male, and female to female. But um, I'm going to use the metaphor basically for female going looking for a male because that's the most of the people that ask me for readings usually ask me about. So I'm going to ask you these six questions and this will help you vibrate when you're going out looking for a mate or even on the internet or even at home or at the grocery store or at the bar. It really doesn't matter because we're talking about like attracts like. I hope you know what I'm talking about. So the first question is do you truly know what you want in a person? Not in the relationship. Not in the relationship. See, this is where some people get confused because they're talking about the relationship. Sure, you want someone that, to honor and respect you, but that's the relationship. What about the person? Is he an honorable person? Can you trust that person? Is that person funny? You want someone that's funny. Do you want someone that's stable? Not a bad boy. You know, some of us go for those bad boys. So that's not being stable. That's and he probably won't be honoring you because if he's a bad boy, he's an adventurous and he's probably taken off and going to many different places, which is fine. You can have a world traveler that can be stable and honor you. So what do you want in the person, not the relationship? Because again, we're talking about like attracts like, correct? So if you say but then also you have to be vibrating I want someone that honors me, then you have to honor yourself. And I think everybody knows that. But um, when you first meet somebody, if you're going out to a bar, let's just say, metaphorically, or you're at a group setting, if you go in, you're honoring yourself. You're saying, I'm honoring myself. I'm going to get to know people. And I'm going to see them for the truth of who they are. If they say, I'm a crazy person and I do not like to be in solid relationships, then don't go for that person if you want a solid relationship, okay? So go for the person. Don't go for what you want in a relationship. And a lot of people are expecting when they meet somebody or they go into the vibration, I want a relationship. So you're going into the bar, for, for example, and you're like, I want a relationship, I want a relationship, I want a relationship. And you're not looking at the quality of the person. Again, it's female and male, I'm not being discriminative here. But a male, they're not dumb. Ladies, they're not dumb. They can smell desperation. And bad, boy, is that a bad perfume to wear, isn't it? It's like, or definitely a woman on a guy, or a guy on a guy, or a woman on a woman. It's like, if that other person is desperate, and it's like, I need to be married, and my clock is ticking. See, you're working on the relationship. You're not looking at the person and the quality of the person and what they can receive to you. Okay? So... I want you to uh, ask that question. And so when you go out, you say, I'm looking for a, re uh, for a person. Then the relationship can follow in between. Okay, so what are the deal breakers? So some pe I don't like people that smoke. Do you know what I'm saying? Am I going to say it's a complete deal breaker? It's pretty close for me. I really do not. I, I just don't like it. Do you know what I'm saying? I, a definite deal breaker, of course, most people would go, duh, but you'd be surprised how many people, someone that's an abusive person, someone that demises other people. My, another deal breaker is if you're an alcoholic and if you've been an alcoholic. I'm sorry, I'm being discriminated, but I've lived in an alcoholic environment. I've been married to an alcoholic. I, 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 I can't do that anymore. See, it's for me. It's not what the world is saying, oh, Debbie, you should give them a break just because they were an alcoholic and they're recovering now. That's fine. That's fantastic. If that's good for you, what's good for me is in the person. What is the deal breaker? Okay. You have to go for what is the deal breaker. Of course, honor and respect, da, da, da. And they're going to show that to you. They are going to definitely show that to you. Okay. So the third question is, what are you vibrating at? Again, like I was talking about before, are you like, oh, I'm desperate, I am desperate, I am desperate. So then, you know, you're going to get a desperate person. So you're either going to, if you're desperate, 
they're desperate for a relationship. So they'll be either really clingy or they'll be controlling or, you know, if you go in there, isn't it funny how this works is when you go into a place and you're like, I don't give a rat's ass, <laughs> excuse my language, but you're like, you don't care what your makeup looks like. You don't da da da. And you're out there having a great time. Isn't that the time that you meet somebody? Cause then the truth of you comes out and they see you are not, you know, I need somebody kind of thing. Isn't that crazy? But it's, it's the way the like attracts like. It's the way the world works. So what are you vibrating at? Are you vibrating at my clock is ticking? I need somebody. I want security. I want someone with money. That is all. That's for you. That's not the person. So when I'm saying it, as you go into a place or a situation, say you're going to an expo, say you're going to a business meeting. If you go in there with confidence and you're like, oh, maybe I'll meet somebody there. I'm going on a cruise. I'm hoping to meet somebody, even if it's a singles cruise. If you go in there not expecting anything, you'll get more quality and you'll meet more quality people than expecting something. So you got to check where you're vibrating at. Do you know what I'm saying? It's almost like walking in the door or walking into a situation, even at the grocery store. It's like, what are you, where are you checked at? Okay. Where are you vibrating at? Because like attracts like, again, that wonderful law that a lot of people don't like. <laughs> but if you're vibrating at confidence, you're going to, you're going to vibrate to someone that is going to resonate to your confidence. And if they can't um, handle your confidence, then they're not the person for you, honey. They're not the person for you. You don't change your vibration. Okay. I know this is going to be a kind of a crazy question, but what do you sound like? Do you know what I mean? So I'm going to joke around a little bit. You got the high up people, the gray poupon, you know what I mean? We even joke around how they sound, the elite sound, the confidence sounds great. If you're in the background, you know, whatever, and swearing every two seconds, that's fine. If you want to swear, that's fine, but you're going to get a swear. If you want this person that is in the high qualities that doesn't have that swear, that's kind and that's, they're not, you're not attracting like attracts like. So what do you sound like when you come walking in the door? What does your presence sound like? Do you, are you, uh, when you walk in the door, do you sound you're joyful and you're happy? Or do you come in and you're complaining? My ex-husband, da, 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 I had to raise my kids and blah, 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 blah. you know, is that going to attract somebody? No, it's not. So listen to the words that you're sounding like. Are you sounding like you're bringing joy, that you would bring joy to you and to the other person and that they can bring you joy? Because a like attracts like, honey. So it's just kind of like you have a certain sense of humor. I have a smart ass sense of humor. I am, you know, and I tell it how it is. So I'm going to have to attract someone that can take my tell it how it is and smart ass kind of comments. Do you know what I mean? And then we can laugh about it. If I was with someone that's overly sensitive, it's not going to work for me. It's not going to work for me because then it'd be like, I'd have to watch all my P's and Q's. So do I want to be with that? That wouldn't be the truth of who I am. And that wouldn't be the truth of who they are. Does that make sense? So what do you sound like when you, um, when you're going out, what do you sound like? Okay. Here we go. We're going to get a couple of comments on this one, but that's okay. So what do you look like? So do you look like you're in confidence? Do you know what I'm saying? So like, I like, uh, if you notice big jewelry, like my lavender right here, I like big jewelry. Um, I, you know, I kind of can be avant-garde. I just had the other day cause we went to, uh, to, uh, out to breakfast and I had this lady that was very church like, that's okay, not demising her, but I was wearing a skirt that was just above my knees and kind of a tight firming, you know, and I'm very voluptuous. I'm, you know, very voluptuous. And I mean, the lady literally looked at me and went, how disgusting, you know? And I'm like, really? You know? <laughs> so that's my presentation. My presentation, that's okay. She can have her opinion. She's wearing a skirt that goes down to her ankles. Do I have skirts like that? Yes, but I wasn't in the mood for that. So what you're bringing in, but that brings you comfort. Again, like what I was talking about before, it's funny how you're like dirty and you don't give a rat's ass because you're not desperate, then you meet somebody. But do you want to, are you dressing up because you're floozy? I mean, are you wearing this skim tight as a woman, a skin tight thing, da 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 da, and it's like, I just want a one night stand kind of clothing? Or are you uh, dressing 
that I'm happy, I'm very confident in who I am. Am I saying that you can't wear a skimpy outfit? No, but don't, but see the thing is, is that people get upset with that is because you're going to attract what you're wearing and what you're presenting. It, is it the clothes? No, is it the clothes that you're wearing a short skirt or short shorts or a long dress or whatever? It's the confidence and the vibration that you have with your clothing. So um, if it would be someone, I don't like clothes that are up to my neck. I probably was hung in a past life. So you know how that goes. So I don't like things that are up to my neck. And to me, I don't feel like I look good in them. I, ha I usually wear usually a lower shirts. Um, I always have my hair a certain way. I make my up my certain way. That is who I am. That's the truth about who I am. So that I will vibrate into it. Does that make sense? You want to be dressed of where you're comfortable. But if you're going for a business person, you're not going to wear a lumberjack outfit, right? You want someone that you're going into a business exactly. So so you wouldn't wear your you know pajamas into a business office. Some places say, hey, that's okay. You know, we just want to be the presence of who you are. But we know that most of the world, 80% is going to go on the way you present yourself and then you can connect with them again like attracts like so if you're a hunter where there's a lot of hunters here in Montana they wear a lot of camouflage and and jeans and the hoodies and da da da, da and they're attracting the exact same kind of partner or, or mate okay so um, what I'm saying with the clothing is it's not really the clothing it's what you're representing with your clothing and the way you're presenting yourself, okay? Because a like attracts like again, okay? So, okay, and then the sixth one was how do you present yourself? How do you present yourself with confidence? Are you going in with confidence that your joy, that you don't have to meet somebody, that you're just having a good time with your friends? You won't believe how many times I'll be out dancing with my friends and, and the guys will jump in and be like, oh, you guys seem like a lot of fun. We just want to hang out with you guys. Do you know what I'm saying? Because we were in the, in the space of enjoyment and in being in peace. So I guess a lot of it, what I'm saying is to attract another person is not look at the relationship and what it's going to give you. So if you're going, I'm going to this multi-million dollar club because I want to meet a millionaire. That is fine. But what are you presenting and that you are at that 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 person is presenting to you what are you presenting I'm presenting that I'm a joyful person I'm spontaneous I like to travel I do like adventurous things so that if I was trying to meet a multi-million dollar person say they would say oh that's the qualities I, I, I like about you and here's the qualities of me do you know what I mean you're gonna bring me stability you're gonna bring me da 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 and it's okay you guys resonate together Okay, so a lot of times when you are um, going into attraction and you're going into a place to meet somebody, it is the presence, the confidence, and the things that you know that you can give to the other person. That's what you need to walk into. So like if you're looking for a mate, or even when you're on the internet, if you're talking to somebody. So if you said, um, I, if I was single and I was looking for somebody, uh, the first thing that most people say is, oh my God, you're vivacious and you're outgoing and you're so much fun and I need a lot of fun in my life. So I would reciprocate to them a lot of joy and fun and they might reciprocate to me stability, security, family life, which I've never had. Do you see what I'm saying? So it's kind of like you're representing your, your I, I, it sounds really bad, I, get, I probably should use another word, but you're kind of marketing yourself and what is it that you can present to the other person and then you see what they can present to you. Not as, so if I want to be with a multimillionaire example, um, is it the, because they're a multimillionaire or is it because of the security or the things that they can present to you? Do you know what I'm saying? So are you really going for the person because they're a multimillionaire or are you just going for them because they're gonna give you things? See, so you gotta look at the dynamics of what the relationship is. And when you go into a situation on the internet, in a, uh, a place where you can meet people. That's what you need to look at is what are you presenting to yourself? Because a like attracts like. If you're in a depressed mood and you're trying to get someone to make you happy or I need a man because I can't be alone, it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. Then you're just going to 
pick whatever. It's a man or it's a woman. Do you know what I'm saying? So I hope these questions kind of are some good questions to ask yourself and to present yourself when you're going out and looking for someone to be your life partner. Okay. I hope you have a great day. Blessings and smiles. Bye-bye.